What's going on guys, Will Nace here. Welcome back to another night in the snake room. Tonight is gonna be something a little old school because I brought back the Red Bull. Alright guys, so I have the Red Bull. We gotta feed the couple of the vipers here on the bottom. Um, everybody else is gonna get fed a different day. But this first snake we're gonna pull out, uh, she does have a name now, which some of you may or may not remember, but I did start a tier on Patreon to actually name my snakes. So this first one uh, was named by Nicholas, who's an awesome patron of mine. He's been a patron for quite some time. He decided to name her Miss Tex, and she is my big female Western Diamondback rattlesnake. So we're going to go ahead and open this drawer. I know she's hungry. She just shed. Actually, if you look at the big skin right here, that is hers. Um, so she is looking quite beautiful. I actually just snapped off a couple pictures of her <laughs> the other night because she looks so beautiful. Look at she's already coming out. So this first one again, Miss Tex. She's going off like crazy. Her rattle is huge. I think I counted the other day. It was like 16 beads. Here she goes. Here she goes. Boom, nice strike. Oh, double strike. I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm not gonna film her actually eating, um, just because of the fact that she's in the drawer and I don't wanna sit here and wait. And we have other snakes to feed. So we're gonna continue on to the next one. Okay, so the next we're gonna feed is my big red female canebrake. Uh, the other female is already in the trash can, but she has a name now too. Her name is Bellatrix, and that was done by Megan O'Neill and her awesome daughter, Hope. Uh, they put a lot of thought into it. Uh, there's a lot of meaning behind that name, which we're not going to go into tonight, but I will go into another night. So we're going to go ahead and feed her now, too. I'm also bumping up the size of the rats of the medium-sized rattlesnakes. They are getting now medium-sized rats. So we're, I'm hoping that they will be able to take these guys down, no problem. I believe they should, so we're going to give it a shot. And she's already waiting for her meal. She knows it's dinner time. So let's see if I can get her. Come here. Hey, look. Look what I got. You're not going to want to come out, are you? Let me see if I can open this up. Just a, a little bit more. What was that? Come on. Look what I got. She's twitching right now. And you're looking at me. You want the rat. Really? You know you didn't bite it yet. Why are you looking at me? All right, well, I'm gonna leave it there. That was a downer. She didn't even strike at it. I'm gonna close that glass. So she's just staring at me directly. What, what, why, why are you standing like that? Whatever, she'll eat it anyway, she always does. So here we have Lori. Lori is gonna get fed last. Lori is my Gaboon Viper. I named her after a Patreon of mine that, uh, didn't even ask for it, I just did it because Lori has bought, I believe, two or three prints of the Gaboon Viper. Uh, but we're going to feed her last. But down here, we have the Het Albino Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Okay, so this one, her new name is now Venom. Now Stevie, who's a patron of ours, uh, decided to name her Venom, which I like that name. It's a neat name. Hi, beautiful. So again, medium-sized rat for her. Oh, look what I got. Notice tail's not going yet. Oh, you missed. There we go. Awesome. Nice little strike. Gonna set that right there. Close the door. Move on to the other Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Okay, so the next one we're going to feed is my normal male Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. He also just shed, uh, so he's looking very beautiful and white. Uh, this one doesn't have a name yet, so he is just the normal male Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So we're going to go ahead and feed him now. Again, he's also getting a medium-sized rat. This is the first time he's getting a medium size, so I'm pretty sure he'll be able to take it down because this guy has grown quite a bit in the year and a half I've owned him. Oh, that was a good one. He definitely used his pits for that because his tongue stopped flicking. Um, you know, those heat sensing pits they have. I do have these rats at a rather warm temperature, so that's pretty cool. 
So we're gonna go ahead and close him up and move on to Lori. Quick little update for you guys too. The Fancy Pan Viper is now in the snake room. He is done out of quarantine. He pulled through. I'm really happy that I got the snake eating, got his weight back up. Hasn't shed for me yet, but I'm hoping here soon he will actually shed. So he is in the snake room finally, which he won't remain in here too long because as most of you guys know, um, like I said in my last video, I am redoing everything that has to do with the boreal tree vipers. They're going in my office and they're getting amazing setups and that includes this little guy. The Gaboon Viper, Lori, she is last. We're gonna open her up. We're gonna feed her. She is definitely ready for a meal. I know she is. This is my baby, my girl. Um, between her and the red female cambric, I have had them the longest out of all the snakes in this snake room. So she's also getting a medium wrap, which is a little small for her, um, but that is because I'm not trying to feed her large meals too often. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap, I was not expecting that. That was insane. Insane. You want it? Alright, I'm gonna leave that there. She bit the tongs. Um, wow, that was <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. She hit that thing. So hard, it ripped it out of the tongs, hit the tongs, crazy. So these guys in the wild, um, again, I do have a video on Gaboon Vipers all by themselves. I'll put that up in the time card so you guys can check it out. But man, when these guys hit, they do hit hard. All right, so some of the snakes started eating. We're gonna go ahead and check some of them out. All right, so Bellatrix is already almost done with that rat, which is awesome, that's a good sign. Again, that is a medium rat that she's taken down. So I'm very happy that she was able to do that. Um, I was a little concerned about her out of all the snakes, but so far, so good. Let's go see who else is eating. So Venom, AKA Little Miss Piggy, always eats, doesn't care about who's watching or anything like that. She's already started munching on her meal as well. So that's a really good sign. Again, a medium rat. I know her and the male can take down their medium, so. I just was thought it was time to up the size on those rats for them. And the male is looking for the head on his rat, so that's also a very good sign. Now the reason why we're not fe feeding the uh, female is because she is currently in shed right now. As you can tell, she's very dark and blah looking right now, so she is not going to be getting a meal, but hopefully she'll shed here soon. Wasabi! So it looks like Lori is starting to find the head there, which I know this is a little unusual. Usually they bite and hang on, but due to the fact that I think she hit the tongs, she very simply let it go. She is absolutely a phenomenal snake. I do love her. I do have some pictures of her I will be putting up on Smug Mug here shortly so that you guys can check them out if you want. Again, the link is in the description of all my videos. Bellatrix is done with her meal already. Uh, she powers down her meals every time. Never a worry with her not eating. That's why I actually have to take out the other female because of the fact that she will eat the other female's meal as well. Venom still about halfway through. The male Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake just finally starting. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Huge thank you for watching. I do appreciate all you guys checking out my videos. Hopefully you guys learn something new every video because that is my goal. You still didn't even eat. What, I didn't even touch the garbage can. Okay, I'm just gonna. So, subscribe if you are not already, smash that like button if you haven't already. Big thank you to my Patreons as well, you guys are awesome. I love the names you guys are bringing to the table, it's definitely been some interesting names, to put it that way. So, I will see you guys in the next video like always, and, and, I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye!
What? Why are you filming me? Stop filming me. No? Good. Monster. It's in my blood. Oh.